Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, a huge, huge welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. But first, let's get a cup of tea, and you know why? You know, you need tea to relax your nerves, you know, chill down after stress and all that. Just take a cup of tea. Take a cup of tea, okay? Down, okay? Now that you have your tea, we are going to be using Selly hair today. I think that's what it's called or that's how it's pronounced. I'm not quite sure. So this is what the hair looks like. I initially thought that this hair didn't need me to pluck it, but I did bleach the knot. And it so it turns out that I definitely should have plucked it a little bit more. So as you can see, I literally just cut off the excess on over the ear. I didn't cut off any hair and it was a perfect fit. So I literally was great. It was, it fits ear to ear. This is a 13 by six, right? So I'm going to be using the got to be glue going over the perimeter of my hair. So don't be scared to get a little bit of glue on your hair. This does not rip out your edges. I've heard people saying, oh my gosh, you're going to lose your hair. It only rips out your edges if you yank or pull off the wig. If you take this off nicely, as in you wet it, your edges will be fine. I've, I still have my hairline and I've been using this for more than a year. Then after the glue is tacky, you're going to spray your blasting freeze and you are going to secure your wig i like to hold it back before i tie everything down so that i don't have any hairs uh like flying around i'm going to be using this piece that i cut off for stocking i think it's a pantyhose or stocking i don't know what you guys call it but i call it either one then the glue wasn't enough so i sprayed a little bit more because i was just not sure if this is stuck down if you're like me and you struggle with dry lips in the winter, I really love this uh, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Day Cream. Now, you will notice as I'm cutting off the hair, as I'm cutting off the lace, there is a bit of white, okay? So that is the lace lifting a bit. But don't worry, I will show you how we are going to fix this, okay? And right now, as you see me cutting, you can see, like, if you're someone that really loves a... Uh, customized lace you can see that i probably should have customized this a little bit more by plucking the hair um but it's not that bad but i'm still gonna pluck it some other time um maybe after i remove this wig and i wash it i will probably customize it a little better and i will show you guys then you want to just make sure you cut off a, cut off whatever excess um lace that you want to get rid of so now you see i'm spraying this over the perimeter of my hair again and just using that flat comb to get those white pieces glued down again so you don't see any lace peaking and i didn't have to secure that down anymore now i'm going to be finger combing my hair you can see that the top is a bit bulky i do realize that i forgot to glue this to dry this wig on a mannequin that way it would have been flat at the top um i should have fixed it with a bit of spray water but you know sometimes when you're filming you can't see this thing so it didn't matter because i wasn't going anywhere i'm stuck in the house so literally bumpy wig is fine but if it's for you and you're gonna quarantine and chill fix it for this look we're gonna be using one brush for almost everything like for our base to start, we're going to be using the Primer Plus Radiance uh, Primer. This is from Bobbi Brown. I do realize I put too much. So I think this is because I've been sitting on my ass for a couple of days that I kind of forgot how to measure stuff. So if you haven't been doing your face for quite a bit of time now, I think now's the time to actually start practicing um, before you get back to work or if you're still working at home. Okay, and then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Combination and Oily Skin Foundation. This is in the shade Spice, number 11. 
they do have one for dry skin as well so if you have dry skin there's something for you this one uh claims to have like a matte finish but it's not super super drying matte so it's it's great uh the reason why i love using this brush is because it gives off this flawless natural looking skin for concealer i am going to be using the l'oreal more than infallible concealer the shades i think the shade is 338 and 336 i will confirm every shade and product in the description down below so if you'd like to know what i used just look down below and you see as i'm blending this out i'm starting off with the areas that would dry quicker so like my forehead so you want to make sure that is blended out nicely and like i said this brush just makes sure everything looks like skin it literally blends everything else nicely and that's why i love it and i think because you're using this with products still on it it's sort of like blending everything out and making everything looks alike so don't worry right now it's the fact that this face looks flat and you're just like oh my gosh what is going on we are gonna fix that so we're gonna be contouring with this revlon um contour concealer and I will write down the shade in the description box and you can see where I'm going. So it's almost like a, a three or an E, whatever you want to call it. So you want to blend this upwards, especially when it's in the cheek area, because my cheeks are quite big. I have a very round face, so I do have to um, sort of like reshape my face when I contour. So you want to bring it into your cheeks just so that they look a bit more defined and then you want to make sure you go around your forehead so you see how this blends everything out and makes it look like skin this brush literally gives off a flawless airbrushed look and you won't have that cakey um, sort of look then to end it off you want to make sure you use the excess uh, product for your nose to set my face, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I haven't used this in a minute. That's because I am running out. And I don't know if I'm going to be buying any more right now because the rand is just not where it used to be. So to set my contour, I am using the next three steps to sculpt palette. Love this. And that is why my palette is literally seeing flames. It's almost like finish but i don't waste so i'm going to keep on using it till like there's nothing left in there you don't want to forget your nose for the bridge of my nose i like to connect this from my eyebrow when you do this you are making sure that the base is perfect you'll notice that we haven't touched the eyebrows yet and that's because we want to do those last after we've perfect the base because we're not wearing eyeshadow so your brows are going to do the talking so for the eye area, we are also going to be contouring that with the three steps to scalp palette. So just in the crease area, we are going to blend that out for eyebrows. Now we are going to be using the Revlon brow styler, which has a brush at the other end. So I love that. Now you're going to follow the natural contour of your brow and you're just going to create nice natural strokes going up okay and just fill it in lightly but the pencil is quite light it does it's not dramatic so you won't have a problem do you see how that's natural between the other brow and the one that i've done now then we're going to fill it in a little bit with powder just on the edge we're not touching the front now to clean this up you want to do this as gentle as possible and you want to be neat and you want to blend this out really nicely because remember you've already done your base and we're not going to be retouching that so you want to do this in a way that you don't have to fix anything for blush i'm not wearing a very pink blush but i'm rather wearing a peachy blush this is from floma so i will write the shade down in the description box as well uh this just brings life into your face you know contour brings warmth and that brings life you're going to use this in the inner corners of your eyes as well because you also want to bring a little bit of life into your eyes. Then thereafter, we're going to be finishing it off with mascara. My mascara is a simple mascara from Essence. Um, love their mascaras. Literally worth uh, the money you would spend. So I would definitely recommend them. 
For highlighter, we're going to be going in with the Urban Decay Mother of Dragons in the shade Regal, which is the last one. You want to go in very lightly. This is a quarantine and chill look, so you don't want to exaggerate the highlighter. For my nose, I use my finger to blend this out. This is the best way to actually blend your nose highlight. So if you want to blend your nose like highlight, I would highly recommend you use your hands. Um, for my lashes, I'm using my lashes Lash Me Baby in the style Dream. And for the lip liner, I'm going to be going in with MAC chestnut um it's quite dark and i do know there's a shade that's lighter for people that are lighter if you want to try their mac lip liners you'll find the shade for you for lipstick i'm going in with the maybelline uh ink crayon i think yeah ink crayon in the shade trust your gut absolutely love this i've ran out i need to get a new one for lip gloss, I'm going to be going in with the Catrice lip gloss. It's absolutely amazing. Gives off this nice shine and literally sort of like blends your lipstick and lip liner together. Then that's about it. You would then want to style your hair. I would recommend you use a hot comb to sort of like fix everything up. I am going to be using my Lancome setting spray. Fix it, forget it. Um... To set my face absolutely love this because we're going into winter now so you don't need a setting spray that mattifies your face but rather something that will just hydrate your face and that's about it thank you so much for tuning in if you love this video don't forget to subscribe till next time much love